Hey, what's up guys? Donnie, Angry Fish Sales, Arizona Paku Rescue. We're up here at the shop today on a Sunday. Uh, we're normally open anyway, but uh, we've got this guy. Once again, Kong is sick. Kong is about an 18, maybe 18 and a half inch. F1 Kampha Flower Horn. We've done a previous video on how we treat him for this. He gets it quite often. We think it's internal parasites, but no telling what it is. But I do know that Metro pumped into his stomach because he's not eating on his own. Metro pumped into his stomach, gets rid of it every time. This will be the third time I believe we've done this. And so far it's worked every time. So let's get it going. Show you how it's done. So as you can see, we've uh, put Kong into a tote with about 15 gallons of water, maybe 20 gallons of water. We added enough tranquil to sedate him for the procedure. Basically, the procedure entails mixing food along with medicine in a bowl because he's not eating that way. He gets some nutrients with the medicine. And we run an airline into his belly. He'll go to take a breath. We run the airline down through his esophagus, straight into his stomach, and pump the medicine in there. I'll mix up the medicine and I'll show you all that's done. So we've got water from his tank, about that much in a container. There's no exact measurements to this shit because I'm not that smart. But basically, we put a bunch of flake food. Super flake, crack, crush this up really good. Drop it on in. Next, we're gonna go with the Metro, which is Metro Nidazole. Not everybody can get this, but you can find it online. Sometimes you've gotta be licensed to buy it. It works for humans too for parasites. I usually take about that much of the Metro, mix that in, make him some soup. Chicken noodle soup for fish. Mix that up really good, then on to the next step, guys. We've got our medicine ready, you've got the syringe ready to pump the food into his stomach, Metro, and Super Flake. That's what he's getting today. He's been in here about 20 minutes or so, so he's been dumped up. He still made a freaking mess, because that's what he does. But we're going to pull him out gently. And actually, I'm going to get the medicine in the syringe so he's not sitting out a lot of milk and nasty. You want to make sure there's no air in here. When you do this, because if there's air, it could kill it. So you want about that much. No air. Ready to roll. We're going to go ahead and pull him. He's going right from the procedure straight back into his tank to recover. So we're going to pull him out. Miss Pam's going to go ahead and wrap him in a moist towel. I gotta get on that side. So we're gonna go ahead, run the tube. Down into his belly. We'll go ahead and pump all that goodness in there for him. Pull him out. Put him back with the net. You don't wanna carry an expensive fish across the floor. It's a bad idea all around. Flip him back into the net. Drop him in. Let him recover. You might choke some of that stuff up. Swim it around with medicine in his belly. He's a little doped up, so you might see him smack it into the wall a few times, but. He's got a high-end fish, you guys. It's worth treating him over just watching him die slow. If in a few days he isn't any better, we'll do it one more time. A few days after that, if he's not better, we will be putting him down because we don't like to see our fish suffer. But right now, he's got food in his belly. He's got medicine. All we can do is wait. Patience. That's the name of this game anyway. <laughs> 